Hello, my lovely Twin Flamesy Poos out there. This is your Twin Flame Soul Connection forecast for the month of September. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as time, energy, and gender are fluid and roles can be reversed however they apply to your personal situation. Now, if this is not your story today, you can always check my channel for other messages you need to hear. Just please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future Future readings. So first and foremost, you guys, it is pre-Mercury retrograde shadow phase, so please excuse a moi uh, apologies in advance if my throat starts crack a lacking during this reading um, or if I start stumbling or struggling on my words. Typically, those of you who have followed me for a while, um, you know the shadow phase actually affects me a little bit more than the actual retrograde itself. So again, just bear with me. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. Um, and definitely comment below if you guys are already experiencing this energy for yourselves but as always you guys thank you so much to my subscribers and everyone who supports the channel oop just looked down and it was 111 on the clock you guys that is my stalker number for like months now um so yeah this is like um spirit reminding us that there are some new beginnings that are happening right now um as people are starting to awaken and twins are coming into union okay so as far as as those of you who are um, new to the channel again this reading is a twin flame soul connection reading so not everyone is going to resonate with the storyline if you do feel like this is for you definitely comment below send me an email I love hearing from you guys and um, if you are new to the channel definitely check the description box below where you can find all of my details and ways to connect with me um, including my social media links my website my email email address, my payment app links, and my website link down there actually tells you which readings I offer. So if you're wanting to book a personal reading, please be sure to, um, to not only check out the website and see which reading is good for you, but to also send me a, a private email or direct message letting me know which reading you've purchased so that I can find you and send you your reading. So uh, anyways, you guys, let's get right into it. As I always say, the Twin Flame journey is all about your personal spiritual growth. So whether or not you're watching this reading for that purpose or you're watching to tap into the energy of your divine masculine, we will be looking into the feminine and the masculine in this reading as I like to do in these forecasts. So flippy floppy the roles if you need to because the runner and chaser roles tend to reverse many times. Um, so yeah, just take what applies to your story and remember Remember, you guys, if you are watching this because you are in physical separation from your twin flame, um, remember that that separation is merely an illusion, okay? That was a message that came up at the end of the new moon in Virgo reading. So if you haven't already checked that reading out, definitely check it out. It was a really good one. Um, but yeah, it's an illusion, okay? It is uh, an illusion of the mind. You are your twin flame, okay? So you can actually never be apart um, from them, okay? Your soul is made up of the same materials okay you are the same soul the same cloth um so yeah if you find yourself um like i said watching these readings to try to tap into that energy of the divine masculine the best thing for you to do to tap into that energy is to look within yourself okay this is your spiritual journey this is your reminder that you are whole and perfect and complete with or without that meat suit hanging around next to you okay so Let's get into it. First, I'm going to start out with the Romance Angels. We're going to get a card for the masculine and the feminine and see what is the overall energy here. So the masculine is getting love yourself first. Oh my God. So you guys, for those of you who have felt like your masculine has been stuck in a cycle of running um, and hiding, I feel like what's really going on is your masculine has been learning these lessons of loving themselves, caring for themselves, truly thinking about what it is that's going to make them happy, them satisfied, okay? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, you know, this card always makes me laugh. We have this woman over here clinging to this guy and he's like trying to 
pull away from her is kind of what I'm getting. He has his arm around her, but it's like he's pulling away in the other direction. So this could also be a wake up call for the masculines that <laughs> what they love, what they desire, what they truly want and what makes them feel good is actually the feminine. And they're realizing that they've sabotaged this connection by trying so hard to pull away from it. Okay. So you know, your masculines are out there right now trying to, um, like I said, get a grip on what it is that makes them feel, like we said earlier, whole and complete with or without anyone by their side. That is the twin flame journey. So they are respecting themselves more. They're loving themselves more. Um, and, you know, when you start doing that, you start attracting that same energy back to you. So this is the lesson that the masculine is going through right now. For the feminine, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Now, some of you might be rolling them eyeballs right out of your sockets right now saying to yourself, you know what, I've already given it a chance or I've already put in all the work or I've already done this or that or I've reached out so many times and everyone has their own story, right? Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm actually recording this on my Twin Flames birthday and you know, I've thought these things to myself a lot too you know I've reached out so many times and 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 for nothing right for for no response for for no sort of reciprocity and at some point we as feminines right we talk about the masculines reaching their breaking point but the feminines reach their breaking point as well you know putting out that energy sending all of that love to the masculine being vulnerable and putting themselves out there um, and, and spirit is out here telling y'all keep doing that right keep giving your relationship a chance keep giving this connection a chance to surprise you okay because as you can see here we have this angel over here embracing this woman and it's like she's looking away all right it's almost like she doesn't want to see it she doesn't want to see the truth that this angel's arms are wrapped around her in, in a loving embrace. So this could also be spirit saying that you're divinely protected, okay? Um, there is no wrong answer when it comes to love. Um, it's either try or, or do nothing and live in regret. And feminines, I feel like all of us have been trying, okay? We've tried, we've put ourselves out there, like I said. And Spirit's telling you, you know, maybe you've given up. Maybe you've closed your eyes and looked away from this connection or turned your back on your masculine. But Spirit's telling you to, to remain hopeful, remain faithful. Um, your angels, your guides, they've got your back, okay? And maybe that's exactly how they have your back, if you feel me, okay? Some of you, your angels are blocking your eyes with their wings because things are not ripe yet, okay? Things are not ready. There are things happening behind the scenes in the ethers that you are not ready to see just yet. But as always, Everything is revealed in divine timing, okay? So you need to trust in that. I'm not saying go and, and beat the masculine's door down and splash your cup of love in their face. I'm saying give your masculine a chance to catch up to you and to learn the lessons that you've already learned, okay? We talk about the empress energy, the divine feminine representing self-care, nurturing, okay? Taking care of oneself, no longer tolerating anything um, that isn't resonating with that highest vibration of the feminine energy. Now it's time for you to give this connection a chance to align. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So yeah, I mean, I feel like September is such a great month for that, right? It's the end of summer, it's the beginning of fall. Things start getting very cozy, um, very passionate, very intimate. Um, it's like the very beginning of what they like to call cuffing season, what the kids like to call it these days. And, and yeah, that's exactly the, the, the heat that's rising okay not only that but you guys are so many planets in retrograde right now um lots of things happening okay so many things and if you want to know how those um astrological transits are affecting you personally obviously look up your birth chart do some research but um i know today right today is wednesday august 31st and 
I know today there was like a very um, kind of harsh square happening with Pluto and, um, and and Pluto is about the planet of transformation, right? Death and transformation. So again, passion, we're talking about Plutonian energy um, and it's also making me think of scorpionic energy, right? Scorpionic energy is represented by the death card in the tarot. It's also a passionate energy, a very deep and sensual energy. That is what's happening between the masculine and feminine right now, okay? This, this passion that they have for each other, it's, it's never going to die, okay? It's never going to be blown out. The candle is always going to stay aflame, right? So underneath that, we also have separation. So it says, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, I feel like this reading is for those of you who are in separation with your person in the physical, um, but this could also be simply saying that that the masculine and feminine are both separating themselves from from anything that's not resonating any longer okay toxic friends family members partners okay so you know this passion and then separation happening this could even be spirit telling you that there is no other passion like this twin flame journey and any other connections that exist outside of it are naturally going to find their way out of of your life out of your life out of your masculine's life um but when I say naturally, you know, a lot of times I don't mean like these people are just going to up and decide to walk away. I mean, in some cases they will. And, and for some of you, you might feel very lucky for that. But in other cases, there are partners, okay? There are energies, people that like to hang around for as long as they possibly can. It's like that, ooh, I love your energy. Let me get a straw type vibe. Okay, so this could be not them walking away as a form of naturally falling out of your life. But when I say naturally, I mean things have to naturally take their course, okay? To whatever extent that might be. And again, everyone's storyline is different. Um, but yeah, under that we have deception. So someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This could be, again, on both sides here, right? Feminine's wearing a mask, maybe pretending like she doesn't care right now or, or you know, trying to um, focus on other things. The masculine is wearing a mask, right? Deceiving the feminine, making her think that, you know, they don't, they're not wanted, that they're not cared for, they're not loved. But overall, this energy of deception is popping up next to separation because, again, a lot of you have karmic partners in the mix, okay? Um, not necessarily all of these karmic partners have to be lovers or, or wives or husbands. Um, they could be boyfriends, girlfriends, friends, okay? Um, those of you who have followed my channel, you know I've had a couple of people exit my life some of them who were incredibly close to me um, people who I thought I could really trust but as you well know with this journey <laughs> only the strong survive only the ones that are meant to elevate with you into that next level of your highest vibration are going to stick around okay and a lot of times especially for feminines right feminines seem to be misunderstood a lot um, because they shine so brightly okay um, a lot of times there are many people that are jealous of the feminines um, that are irritated by the feminines light Okay. And, you know, sometimes I feel like the masculine hides behind that mask because they also have that same light, that same energy, but they're trying to avoid any sort of altercations, any drama. They're trying to avoid the spotlight. Um, so yeah, I feel like these cards coming up is basically spirit saying that these deceptions are being exposed right now. And what a perfect time for that, right? With all the retrogrades, things in review, um, you know, being extra cautious about how we communicate, how we make moves in this world. And we have a full moon coming up here. Um, let me look at this calendar all the way across the room. Damn, I might need me some glasses in like a week, okay? I can't even see those little numbers over there. <laughs> That's not a good sign. So anyways, you guys, I just looked down at the clock and it was 1444. So, you know, 
this could be a message for those of you who consider yourselves light workers, energy workers, healers. Um, you know, if you're on the twin flame journey and you know it, and you've already been through 67 phases of doubt and, and all these other things and you're in it, <laughs> like deep in there, then, then that is your confirmation, okay? Spirit's telling you that you are being guided on the right path in this journey, okay? And look at that. As I say that, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So be very careful with that past energy, okay? During Mercury retrogrades, um, you know, don't just be letting any old person back up in your life. Um, and, and for some of you, as you well know, you know, not everyone chooses to be with their twin flame in the end. And that is perfectly okay, right? Um, some of us will choose soulmates. Some of us will come back into union with our twin flames. And, and it's all your choice, right? This is your journey. It's like one of those, like, pick the ending goosebumps books. <laughs> There are so many different options that you have that will lead you all to like the same endings, the same place. So anyways, you guys, someone from your past is returning to your life. When I see the reconciliation card, I think to myself, you know, obviously there are going to be those of you coming into union. This could be exactly what is on the masculine's heart and their mind. This could be what you've been hoping and praying for. Um, and spirit's saying that it's true love. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So I do feel as if masculine and feminine both are being encouraged to love themselves, to be open to healing this connection, because both of them know that there's no other passion like the one that they have with their twin, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I'm going to start with the feminine's energy, okay? And I'll be using the enchanted love tarot. So what is happening in the conscious awareness of the feminine for the month of September, please? What do we need to see? So interesting. We have quite a few things popping out. So feminine. September could be a month where you have a lot going on, a lot on your mind. We have the seven of gems. We have frustration is the key word here. And you know, rightfully so, okay? A lot of you have planted your seeds with this masculine energy. A lot of you have been very patient, really focused on, on manifesting this connection into the physical. Um, but there have been delays, okay? There have been obstacles. There have been things in the physical world, like I said, that need to naturally take their course. So as I say planting seeds, we talk about this too all the time. You don't plant seeds and then and dig them up every five minutes to see how they're doing okay that's not how it works um, seeds grow in darkness in the wet in in the in the many different conditions there are many phases and that's exactly what the twin flame journey is like but in the month of September, the feminine could be focused on the frustration of needing to be patient for the connection to come into fruition, okay? But next we have the star. So regardless of how frustrating it is, spirit is saying that feminines, whether you want to admit it or not, whether you want to close your eyes and turn a blind eye to the journey, you know deep down in your heart there's still hope, Okay? There's still hope for things to come together in divine timing. The star is a wish. Okay, It's also a healing energy. So for some of you, you could be very focused on healing yourselves. Right, um, The seven of gems could even represent your career, um, your finances, uh, being very focused on what you are manifesting into the physical. Um, frustration could also be very symbolic for the retrogrades. Okay, There may be some delays or things that are coming up in the month of September that will really... Um, that will really make you feel that frustration. But I think accompanied with that hand in hand is going to be that hope deep down, okay? You could be getting a sign. So look for signs involving stars, okay? Um, that might be very generic, but you'd be surprised, okay? Um, so look for signs involving stars. And I do feel as if 
the star in this case is being represented by possibly a spirit guide, someone who is guiding you down this path, regardless of how long it's going to take. Okay. Um, next, we have the Ace of Gems. So really focused on a new business opportunity or a proposal, an offer. This is a promising new beginning, something that has the potential to last. And I always see the Ace of Gems as like the golden seed to be planted. Um, this could even represent, a, like I said, a proposal, an offering, a gift. So you know, hope, some of you are still hoping that this person is going to come in with an offer and with the Prince of Shells next to it, you know, not just something solid and in the physical, but also someone who is willing to be vulnerable. Okay. So the Prince of Shells is the charmer. Um, <clears throat> it's like that Romeo energy. Um, someone who is very romantic, someone who is very open and honest about their feelings, but they can also be kind of fickle or afraid. So <sighs> Again, this could be what you're hoping for, feminine, that the masculine will come forward and reveal their feelings, that they will come forward with some sort of a solid offer, a proposal. Um, <clears throat> and again, this could be the signs that you're receiving, that, that your masculine is going to come in. Um, and this could be what's lingering in the back of your mind. Like even though in the physical you might feel frustrated or you might feel like this is going nowhere. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what I tell you all about my throat. It's accompanied with that deep-seated hope that you've always had, right? The hope for the promises that you made with this person, knowing that at the end of the long and dark journey that you've been on, that there is going to be a reward, okay, for all of your patience. So look at that. And as I say, a reward for your patience, we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So spirits also saying like, luck is on your side. Okay. This is a destined connection. This is about destiny. So let's take a look at what's going on in the feminine's heart space involving the masculine. How is she feeling about the masculine or towards her masculine at this time? The four of roses. Okay, the four of wands, respect is the key word here. So yeah, you know, again, turning a blind eye, sure, but not in a go F yourself type of a way. It's more like I'm going to just close my eyes and take a quick nap while you figure things out on your side of the journey. So feminine, in your heart, you have massive respect for the for the masculine going through whatever they're going through. Um regardless of whatever they did or didn't do, you still have that respect for them, okay? They are your divine counterpart. This is the twin flame card. This is marriage and celebration coming together in a stable union, okay? So feminine in your heart, you you still are very focused on coming into union with your masculine, okay? Whether you want to admit it or not. Um, and for those of you who are <clears throat> keeping to yourself and, and kind of setting in your high priestess energy, keeping your secrets about the journey and just sort of letting things play out, um, good. Okay, that's exactly what you should be doing because you don't want to shift yourself into the energy of the chaser again. Because once you stop chasing, that is when the masculine realizes oh, wait a second, I'm not being chased anymore. Now the door is wide open and there's a big gaping hole there that they feel the need to fill. And no one is going to be capable of filling that hole other than you, feminine, okay? So let's talk about the 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Protection is the key word. So I do feel as well that the feminines are really focused on not just coming into union, but building a legacy. Okay. They, they want to protect the connection. Um, and they want to protect their, they want to protect their union, yes, but they also want to protect everything that's going to come from that union. It's like the feminines can see the future of what it's going to be like when the two of you come into union, okay? They can see the happiness, the abundance, 
the prosperity. They know that there is potential for that. And the feminine is protecting that in her heart. Okay, this idea of coming into union and having the everything ship. Okay, um, we also have the temperance card. So again, feminines are being incredibly patient along this journey, okay? Knowing that things are being balanced behind the scenes, knowing that her guides, that the universe has their back, all right? So let's talk about how the feminine is viewing the masculine. I feel like these cards are really sticky. Let's try that again. How is the feminine perceiving the masculine in the physical world? How is she perceiving the masculine on their journey? The seven of swords. Oh my gosh. Opposition. So typically we see the seven of swords. Oh, y'all, I just looked down. It was 2555 on the clock. Um, there could have been some deception here, right? There could have been some lying, some sneaky behavior. Um, but I really see this as a card of strategy, okay? I feel like the lies and the deception in regards to the feminine and the masculine's connection are kind of a thing of the past. So for, for the groups that I'm picking up on right now, I feel like there hasn't really been any recent lies or deception in your connection. I feel like this is more so happening on the outskirts, okay, involving the karmic connections we were talking about at the beginning. So there's some sort of deception happening in the masculine's physical world, and the feminine is watching the masculine, perceiving them as trying to strategize a way out of what they've gotten themselves into, okay? So the masculines could actually be um, kind of sneaking around right now behind their karmic's back. Um, they could be, again, trying to figure out, come up with some sort of a plan to detach, um, but the key word again here is opposition. So we know that the masculine is up against something, someone, right? Um, we also have the sun in the reverse coming up here as far as this message is concerned as well. Like we've got this in reverse masculine energy, someone who is not happy, someone who feels that like they have no support, okay? Someone who... Um, just knows like what whatever they're dealing with right now is a big fat no and the universe has shown the masculine this they've shown the feminine this and now the feminine is watching the masculine basically being miserable in that situation okay um but now we have justice coming up as well justice and truth is the key word so when i see this card coming out this could also be uh feminines picking up on justice being served karmic justice um, there could be some divorces happening, some breakups, some legal matters um, coming to conclusion. But again, justice represents Libra. Okay, so we're talking about September. We're talking about the end of Virgo season and the beginning of Libra season. So for some of you out there, you could be getting messages or signs that things are going to be coming to a conclusion in these karmic partnerships in the month of September, okay? Um, and this is not for everyone, but justice is represented by the number 11. Um, so for some of you, the like final like strings will be tied and things will be done by the time November comes around, okay? And number 11 also is the twin flame number. So there could be a lot of you coming into union by the holidays, all right? So feminines, what are their likely actions moving forward? princess of gems. So the feminine is going to continue to invest in themselves. Okay. Feminine is going to continue to invest in themselves. Um, they're going to continue studying, learning, practicing their craft. Um, the key word here is the ingenue. So, so yeah, like you are someone of worth, right? Feminine. And this is you basically saying that's what you intend to do. You intend to expand upon that worth. You intend to show the world in the physical that you are worthy, that you are capable. Okay. 
So, what is feminine's ultimate desire here? The seven of shells illusion. So this card coming up in the reverse, um, I do think that the feminine just really wants the truth. Okay. She wants to dispel the illusions. She wants to know what's been going on behind the scenes. There could be a lot of confusion for the feminine right now, feeling very overwhelmed. So her desire is to come out of that, right? For some of you feminines, you could have options. Um, there could be a really important decision that you need to make. Maybe for some of you, it's about moving forward or leaving behind your person. And again, I think that you're trying to dispel this illusion. You're trying to, um, to just basically see the truth and the raw form of it. This could also be your desire for the masculine to come out of the state of illusion or confusion, okay? So what is the challenge for the feminine for the month of September? Oh my gosh. So you have the five of gems, the eight of gems, and the 10 of wings in the reverse. So I do feel um, as if the feminines, we have anxiety and perfectionism here, two pentacles cards, which would make perfect sense considering as the month begins with Virgo season, um, anxiety and perfectionism is a trait, or are traits of Virgo, um, but they are also traits of Libra. So this Virgo Libra energy that's happening right here, Five of Gems is also about feeling abandoned, being left out in the cold, or struggling financially. With the Eight of Gems here, it's like basically the challenge for the feminine is to um, continue to push forward, okay? There could be some financial struggles, um, or again, the, the feeling of be feeling abandoned or left out by this masculine could be surfacing, and spirit is urging the feminine to continue pushing forward and focusing on her career, being dedicated to her craft, mastering her craft, whatever that might be. Um, the Ten of Wings popping up in the reverse, though, this is saying difficult. Uh, I almost feel as if this is spirit saying like there could be some things coming to an end, right, um, that might feel really painful. Okay, we know the Ten of, of Swords is a betrayal. It's feeling at rock bottom. But since this card is popping up in the reverse, I feel like Spirit's saying whatever difficulties are thrown your way, whatever endings come during this Mercury retrograde, it's all to benefit you. Okay, it's all to benefit you with this Eight of Pentacles. So let's take a look at the bottom of the deck for the Feminine. The Five of Cups, Disappointment. So, you know, in the past, this definitely was something that was driving the feminine um, and her emotions, right? Feeling really disappointed and, and depressed about the way things did or didn't go with the masculine. But this is also kind of a hopeful card for me because this is someone recognizing that they've spent... Okay, three cups. For some of you, this could be three months, three years. Mourning the loss of someone that walked away, okay, that left you alone. But there is still hope, okay? That is why the Two of Cups still stands in that card in the traditional tarot. And look at that. We have the Ten of Wands under that stress. So I think that... You know, by doing that, by staying and perpetuating that cycle of mourning, of grief, of sadness, um, it, it did put a lot of stress on the feminine, okay? It caused a lot of feeling of burden, but I do feel as if the feminine has let that go, okay? Those cycles have come to an end. Um, and because of the work that the feminine is doing, we have the nine of shells fulfillment. So, you know, feminines stay faithful on this path that you're on because spirit's saying you're about to get everything that you've been wishing for. Um, also the nine is standing out to me again, September is the ninth month. So something really amazing is about to happen in the month of September for the feminines. Okay. Um, and it could very well be involving this energy of the death card, right? Transformation. We talked about that earlier. Things dying, the Plutonian energy. Um, so yeah, you know, something that wasn't meant to last is finally taking its last breath, okay? It's finally kicking the bucket. So 
chariot is saying even more so. There's a determination coming from the masculine. They have achieved balance, okay, and they're moving forward. This could also be for you, feminine, gaining balance over your masculine and feminine energies and ready to set course on a new journey for yourself, okay? Let's get into the romantic tarot and see what is going on with the masculine. Now, please um, bear with me. This is a brand new deck. I've never used it before. So we're going to, um, we're going to just wing it. Okay. <laughs> so what's going on in the conscious awareness of the divine masculine? <laughs> if it isn't the tower, you guys. So, you know, things are really falling apart right now in the masculine's mind, okay? Um, this could also be um, a falling away of their ego. But I see the tower as false foundations crumbling. We saw the separation card, okay? We saw the ten of swords. We saw the death card. We saw this masculine being so unhappy, okay? Feeling like they need to escape or find a way out. And then the justice card talking about divorces, legal matters being um, settled. Okay. So the tower is falling in the masculine's environment right now. And they're very focused on that. Um, let's get one card for clarity on the tower. And it's two cards. So we have the four of swords and we have the eight of cups. So like I said, the masculine is walking away from things that are no longer serving them. They're on their way to the two of cups, you guys. This is what's on their mind. The four of swords, they want to heal this connection, okay? They're ready to put down their swords. They're ready to heal the heartbreak, um, possibly hoping that once they walk away from whatever's been keeping them stuck, that you will, will be there still. Okay, that they will be able to heal this connection with you, that they'll be able to repair and patch up your heart. Because for a lot of you, your masculines be, uh, broke your heart, okay? And they didn't even realize it at the time. Some of them did, but as of now, their main focus is to heal this, okay? They're ready to walk away from things that are not serving, that are not making them happy, that are not giving anything back to them when they're pouring all of their energy, time, and attention into it. So let's find out what is going on in their heart space for the Divine Masculines. Y'all, my throat is like the Sahara Desert right now. It's insane. In their heart space, we have the Queen of Wands, okay? So, you know, in their heart, they know the feminine is beautiful, sexy, charismatic, powerful, a leader, okay? Someone who is capable of manifesting the life of their dreams. And you can see here that, you know, she's not taking action in this image. She's just gently sitting back and, and knowing and trusting that the universe has already worked out the details, okay? But like I said, this is going on in their heart space, the masculine Again, passion, right? We have this passionate energy. They know that the feminine is that. Their passionate divine counterpart. Um, they're passionate about you, okay? They're attracted to you. They're aroused by you. They can't even help themselves. You are encompassing their entire heart space, okay? So, and look at that. We have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck. So now we have counterparts. So in your masculine's heart, they know. We belong together. Like, they fucking know it, okay? They already knew from the beginning of time that the two of you were supposed to come into union, okay? Now, we also have the fool underneath that, okay? And the emperor. I'm done. So again, divine masculine energy coming in hot, okay? The emperor has arrived, okay? This emperor is ready to take a leap of faith. They're ready to take a risk on love because there is no passion like the passion they feel for their divine feminine, okay? There is, there's no getting away from it. There's no getting around it. 
it is what it is. And they're starting to understand that and trust their heart. Okay. So how are they perceiving the feminine? You know, and the emperor too, like this, this person is taking control, right? They're taking action in the physical world to build this empire. So the way they're perceiving the feminine right now is the two of swords. So very interesting. You know, typically we see the three of swords with the swords going through the heart. Now we have two swords going through the heart. But obviously the two of swords is indecision, okay? It's also um, hiding, right? We saw her right here with her eyes closed. Like, nope, I don't want to see it. I don't even want to see what's going on. I don't want to know. Just wake me up before you go, go, okay? <laughs> like, that is exactly the vibe. Feminine's like, nope, I'm good. I'm over here. Just, I'm chilling. I don't, don't even show me nothing until it's time. So the masculine sees this, okay? This could also be the masculine um, understanding that the feminine has blocked off communication for now, all right? Not really wanting to say anything or maybe not knowing what to say, maybe feeling um, a little bit defeated as if they say anything that it's going to yield no results. Um, we also have the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. So yeah, you know, they could also be perceiving the feminine as very cold towards them, right? Cold and calculating. Um, maybe feminines, you have some of you turned your backs on them or told this masculine where to stick it. And they see you as someone who is very, um, very concise, very clear about what they want, very truthful. And again, same thing here with the queens are just kind of resting back on their thrones. They're not taking action. Um, Feminines, they see you as an intellectual. They see you as someone who demands the truth and nothing less. And that could be very scary for them, right? Sometimes the Queen of Swords can be the bitch card. And so, you know, based on what the masculines have been going through, obviously we saw earlier they're, they're, they're not happy, okay? They're fucking miserable. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, if they're used to dealing with karmic partners, they could kind of just be assuming the worst right now or assuming that the feminine would like cut them off or, or block them off, which could be again, kind of making them feel the need to like stay away longer or, or not say anything, keep their emotions up because they don't want any confrontation, right? They know that they deserve an earful from the queen of swords right now, right? They know that they deserve to get told, <laughs> but again, I don't think the feminine really has any desire to do that. She's just kind of sitting back and waiting for the truth to be revealed, um, and they see that, right? And now look at this, guys. We have the four of wands again. So the masculine perceives the feminine as their twin flame, okay? The person they want to marry, the person they want to build a life with, okay? So let's talk about um, the masculine's likely actions or intentions moving forward towards the feminine. Seven of pentacles. So... It's funny to me because we have this uh, individual here sitting in the corner and we have this woman like lifting her skirts up and running. She's running so fast she's losing her hat, okay? Um, and she's following the path of pentacles to this, this man. So I see this as things finally manifesting in the physical, okay? I see this as that energy of catching up that we were talking about before. Feminines, you've been incredibly patient on your journey, but so have the masculines, okay? For a lot of them, they haven't had the luxury of being able to do whatever they want, okay? And of course, you can do whatever you want, but in their perception, they felt stuck and trapped for whatever reason, 
okay? Now it's time for them to understand that they've been keeping themselves stuck and trapped. No one external can ever stop them from doing what they feel in their heart they need to do. They've been stopping themselves for fear of judgment from others, for fear of abandonment, for fear that they would get a, an earful from someone and, and have to deal with that conflict, right? But I see this as the masculine fully intends to follow that path of pentacles that they planted with you, feminine, and watch this life that they're wanting to build with you slowly unfold, okay? We also have the eight of coins. So we've got two cards coming up that the feminine already got, the seven and eight of coins. And look at that. She's riding on his back and he's carrying her through the river and they're both laughing. They're both smiling. This is spirit saying that this masculine fully intends... To see the seeds that they planted with you grow into fruition. They intend to show you how dedicated they are to this journey with you. They intend to show you that they're invested in you. Okay? So let's talk about their truest desire here. The Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So... You know, change sucks, okay? I'm just going to say it like that. Change really sucks, especially when you weren't expecting for the change, um, if you weren't prepared for the change. So I see the typical two of pentacles as someone balancing on a tightrope, kind of dancing through the changes of life, figuring things out that are difficult, making a final decision, Okay, and starting to firmly plant down the first bricks of the solid foundation that they're trying to build, right? So we have the strong man here doing some tricks with some rings out in the courtyard with the peasants. Um, <laughs> and, you know, he's working really hard. Okay, this is hard work. So I really feel as if the masculine's truest desires is to finally start building this foundation with the feminine. They want to collaborate. They want to work together. They want to build this from scratch with you, feminine, okay? That is why they're so focused on the tower right now, because they're waiting for the final rubble to burn away to ash before they can finally start laying down that foundation. Now, we have these two kids here sitting on the chariot. <laughs> And uh, it's funny because we have this boy and he's kissing the girl and she's like, ugh, cooties. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that could be exactly the challenge in a sense, right? The challenge of change. It's like the roles have reversed. Now the feminine is not chasing after the masculine and the masculine is determined, <laughs> is determined to get this feminine's booty on the back of the chariot so they can start on this journey together okay so let's talk about the challenge for the masculine what is the challenge <laughs> y'all i think i need to shuffle this deck a little bit better um we have the five the six and the seven of cups so hey you know what i say i should have shuffled it better but i shuffled it like a hundred times and we have this progression of cards popping out so five of cups this is how we saw the past energy of the feminine okay so i think that part of the challenge here you can see here too not typical five of cups energy right we have these two women like literally fighting over this man and you know, I think honestly, that's what the masculine is trying to avoid. Um, you know, maybe there are some egotistical masculines out there right now who would just love to have someone fighting over them or whatever. But again, that's ego. I think the masculine does not want that. Okay. I think the challenge for him is 
he's disappointed because he can't get what he wants right now. He knows that he wants union with the feminine, but he still has to deal with the disappointments that he has participated in, right? The energy that he poured into previous connections is still lingering, and that is the challenge for them, okay? Um, they don't want conflict. They don't want to live their life being disappointed, being in the sun in the reverse energy, okay? Then we have the Six of Cups, it's because they want to connect back with their true counterpart, okay? So talking about reconciliation, someone coming back in from your past, that's this vibe here, okay? The challenge is the masculine is trying to figure out a way to come back into the feminine and share their emotions, share how they truly feel. You can see here, this man has removed his mask and he's sharing his cup with a friend, Okay, so this could also be the masculine feeling very challenged right now because of nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about memories they share with the feminine, and knowing that they have a road to walk before they can get back to the feminine's arms. Next, we have the Seven of Cups, talking about what we said earlier, illusions, fantasies, dreams. So, you know, your masculine could be popping up in your dreams a lot, right? Trying to connect with you in the dream world, fantasizing about you, thinking about the future and what it would be like to finally be with you and be in your presence. But again, the challenge is to get over this five and six first, okay? So that they can make those dreams into reality. So uh, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So... You know, the masculine knows full and well that the coin is in their hands, okay? The ball is in their court. The coin is in their hands. It is their coin to invest in whatever they want. Now, I do feel as if this offer has been like hovering over the masculine for such a long time. It's like all they can think about right? They want to plant this seed. They want to offer true stability to the feminine. Okay. They want to propose. We saw the, the four of wands twice talking about marriage and union. Okay. And underneath that we have judgment. So spirit is really tooting that horn up this masculine's patootie and reminding them of the path that they are destined to be on. Okay. Reminding them that it's time to resurrect this connection and bring it back on track. All right, so the world right after that. You have a lot of progressionary cards happening here. So expect the masculine to learn their lessons and complete some sort of a karmic cycle. I've got crazy painful hiccups. So uh, for some of you, this could even be your masculine traveling towards you, communicating with you over the internet. But I see the world as lessons learned, um, the fool's journey completed, right? Getting ready to embark on a new journey, but wiser, more worldly. So whatever it is that your masculine is going through right now, trust and believe that spirit has been guiding them, okay? And I'm actually uh, being shown the image of a bowling alley <laughs> um, with the guardrails up. And I'm seeing um, this man and he's bowling and he's not very good, but the guardrails are up, okay? So for some of you, your masculine's guides are like the guardrails at a bowling alley. Anytime their ball, you know, drifts over to the left or to the right, uh, they get bounced back into the center, okay? They get bounced back onto their path. So very interesting energy, you guys. Um, you know, I really do feel as if the masculines are well aware, right? I don't feel as if we're talking about a masculine collective who has absolutely no idea what's going on or what their feminine means to them or any of that crap. They know, okay? They've been knowing about it for a long time. So let's get some final advice from the Little Reminders deck. And this is a three-part deck. So I'm going to be pulling um, cards from each deck. I'm going to pull one from each, actually. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Amethyst deck first and see what Spirit wants us to know. So we have the Teacher. Okay. And we're going to get one from the Ruby deck. Ooh, 
creates and one from the turquoise deck self-esteem okay so let's talk about this. So the, this is a three-part deck because it's one long sentence that runs into another, okay? So look at the symbolism on here and I'm, I'm really being drawn to this spider web, okay? Divine feminine energy. Um, so it says here, the teacher, study and share your wisdom with one experienced enough to value it. Be realistic and risk taking a chance on your ability to create the kind of relationship you want. Have fun as you put your needs first, especially if you have a fear of feeling alone or being alone. Whew. So feminines, this is spirit's way of telling you that you are your masculine's teacher, okay? You're leading the way. You're showing them teaching them how to create a life that they love by valuing themselves, by putting themselves first, okay? By kicking that fear of abandonment, you are setting the example for them. So keep doing you, feminine. Keep rocking your independence. Keep shining as brightly as you can and let all the people in your life that can't stand your light fade away, okay? Let's get some messages and see what this divine masculine wants to say to their divine feminine. Also, if you are a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society, please stay tuned at the end of this reading for a very saucy message involving the Divine Masculine's sexual and sensual energy towards the feminine. I'll be using the Manara Tarot um, and the Manara Erotic Oracle. And you guys, um, if you would like to become a member, that link to the members only area is listed down below. Um, it is only $2.99 a month and you get extra content that is not available for free on the channel. So telepathically communicate with me. So your masculine is really reaching out right now, really wanting to communicate, testing the waters in the 5D. I'm done running from this connection. Oh my goodness. I just got chills, y'all. I just shaved my legs too. Dang. Um, I keep a close eye on your social media. So yeah, this person is definitely watching you. Um, not in a creepy way, but in a concerned way is what I'm hearing. So the masculine is concerned about the feminine. Um, and, and you know what? They've probably been pleasantly surprised when they've stalked you feminine, seeing how well you're doing, seeing um, the way that you're transforming your life. And we also have, I've been thinking about proposing to you. Oh my gosh, what did I say earlier with that Ace of Pentacles, you guys? I've been having dreams of you, Seven of Cups. Some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. And you know what? I'm being drawn back to this card down here with these two females fighting over this man. Feminine, listen, feminine, you know already. You don't need to fight for anybody, okay? You don't want to have to fight for your person to, to be with you, to, to, to spend time with you. These things are supposed to flow naturally without a fight without a struggle okay um so anyone who doesn't want to see you and this person together that person is also learning some harsh lessons about what happens when you try to force connections okay so trust and believe these karmic partners out there are learning their lessons as well I act happy, but I'm not, okay? We saw that sun in reverse. This person is downright miserable in their situation, okay? They're losing hope. Um, you influence me in ways no one ever has. What did I just say earlier? You are their teacher. You are their guidance, okay? What else do we... Ooh, oh my, y'all, I'm done. <laughs> 
I love when like every single card falls out. So I put back the hunk that was over here. I did pick up the cards that fell on the floor in the front and to the back. Um, so let's read through them since this reading is already 59 minutes. So I only, excuse me, I have options, but I only want you. So again, with that seven of cups, that could definitely mean your person has options. But like I said earlier, no one can match the level of passion that the two of you share. I'm severing ties with the karmic partner. Okay. This is the card that I was wanting to see y'all. This is confirming the justice energy that we saw before. So let's take a look. We also have this one here. I want to dedicate a song to you. Yes. Uh, you know what's so funny is today I heard a bunch of different songs, but the one that I heard the most was, and I'm not even going to try to sing it because, like I said, my throat is really dry right now, but it's Blue by Leanne Rhymes, okay? Which, again, corroborates the whole sun in reverse this person acting happy but not really being happy. They're blue and they're lonesome for you, feminine, okay? I've been sending you messages in the 5D. So, you know, obviously, you know, sending songs, telepathically communicating. This is all the, the ways that they're trying to test the waters between you and them to see what you're feeling feminine to see how receptive you are to their energy. I want to reconcile with you. And we already saw the reconciliation card at the beginning of the reading. Okay. We also have, I want commitment with you, just not yet. I'm protecting this connection. Oh my gosh. Probably from this broad over here trying to <laughs> trying to smash this woman over the head with a bouquet of roses like whoever this person is in this masculine's life who is desperately clinging like I said they're they're learning they're learning and they're gonna learn the hard way okay um we also have I miss being intimate with you so yeah intimacy is very important to this masculine Okay, and they miss being intimate with you. No one else can satisfy their desires the way that you can. Okay, and like I said, we're going to look deeper into their desires and their sexual, sensual energy in the next reading. Um, and then finally, we have I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. So again, in that advice card that we saw, we were talking about kicking um, the abandonment issues. Um, you know, the masculines are just as afraid of rejection as the feminines are. And, you know, it's easy to, to walk away from someone to avoid being hurt, right? But at the end of the day, you just end up projecting that energy onto the person that you love. And, and that is exactly what the masculine is starting to see now, okay? So, oh, I just got heat up both my arms. I felt like I was being squeezed. <sighs> y'all. This was quite a reading. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it resonated with someone. Definitely comment below or send me an email. Don't forget to book your personal reading with me. Um, I will be taking a few days off at the end of September just because my, my Nana is visiting me. I haven't seen her in a while and it's my birthday on September 30th. So yeah, I'm excited about it. It's officially birthday month. Um, and, uh, yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, I do plan actually to have a sale for my birthday. I might actually do some other things. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing a raffle or or, um, uh, maybe even like a live sale with some of my inventory. But uh, anyways, y'all, I will quit jabbering on and on. It's probably just a retrograde again. But I love you guys, and I will see you over in the extended. Bye.